starting out solitary. Um, this week we were talking about since being a part of the collab, how have we grown and changed? Now, I did record this once and I went on quite a while, then my camera shit out, so I'm probably going to make it a lot shorter. So, as you guys know, me and Tara, or you may not know, me and Tara Incognita, uh, who is the co creator with me for this collab, um, started this uh, two years ago. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Time's gone by very quickly. And though she is not an active participant at this time, she does sub and occasionally does sub week. Um, she's just taking a much passive, much more passive role to the collab. Um, but she, without her, it would not be where it is today. And uh, Michelle Astral Waters, who is kind of my co-boss, co co-bossiness, <laughs> co-helper, I don't know what you would call it. She, she is my, uh, I don't, I don't know what you'd call it, but she, her and I are kind of the ones pushing everybody else around, in a nice way, of course. Um, but I would like to state that there's like a mundane thing I've noticed and grown from and a spiritual path. Excuse me, it's very late. Um, now mundane reason that I've kind of grown and observed and learned from being part of the collab is that everyone <laughs> um, works differently. People all have different schedules and one thing I pride the collab with is that we're extremely flexible with people. That's why we have so many um, sub hosts just in case there's, for whatever reason, someone unable to do videos. Um, you guys know when we're short subs, you ain't gonna get a video, not even a sub video. Um, <laughs> and currently we have a great team right now, everybody's like really on point, we need a sub, someone's there. It's It's been going very smoothly um, with the new batch of subs and new members. And we're also flexible on having people transition from a regular to sub and vice versa. We're cool. We're not that strict. <laughs> um, as long as people are reliable, that's all that matters to me. Um, but I have learned <laughs> that sometimes people come into a situation where it's a group setting and may not realize the responsibility that comes with it. And after the newness has rubbed off, kind of disregarded. And for some, um, I feel may not have found it as important to them as maybe it is to me or some others. Um, generally those who feel it's important generally are the ones who stick around the longest. And there are people who have come and gone, a lot of them because they work and just have busy lives and I get it. That's totally cool. Uh, there's only been like one person who left on a bad note and I'm not even going to give her the time of day. <laughs> uh, too much stupid drama. Um, uh, but it's, it's helped me learn people. <laughs> I need to be able to understand people and not everybody works the same way I do mentally. And sometimes people learn differently with communication. Um, some people need stuff spelled out. Some people get it if it's just like a really quick bullet point. Um, we all digest information differently. Um, and with the collab, it's, it's gone through so many transitions, so many people have gone, come and gone, um, but each person has left a mark on this collab, and um, I'm very grateful for those who have been able to participate. Um, and on a spiritual aspect with the collab, um, I've learned much more about um, different paths, because we have people from uh, who practice a little bit of like hoodoo voodoo, we've had people who practice druidism, heathenism, uh, one of the males uh, in the past did follow Thor specifically and dedicated himself to that. Um, I'm so glad we have a male back on the collab. <laughs> At one point we had about half male but it's hard to get males on the collab, it really is. <laughs> So, thanks Matt. <laughs> um, it, and it's interesting to see because we also have people all over the world. We've got uh, Rose who's in 
Belgium, I believe. We've got Katie, who's in Australia. We've got people in the south, like Wisp. We've got me up in Washington with Tara. Um, we've got Victoria in, I think it's Salem, Massachusetts. Um, Michelle in Florida. It just <laughs> We're all from different parts of the U.S. and the world. And it's always fascinating to hear, especially the people who are outside the U.S., who are, where I'm much more unfamiliar with what's acceptable and what paths are followed, um, to hear how they incorporate their pagan beliefs and their, their lifestyles. Because even in some of the Europe countries, pagan beliefs are still like witchcraft. You're, you're going to get at the very least harassed, if not against the law. It, in some of the more eastern um, countries, those are like laws. It's ridiculous. Um, but this collab is a learning experience and it's a constant learning experience. So I've gone on a long time. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.